Okay, we're going to start out in the Silhouette Studio. Just move that over. And we're going to go ahead and open up our image. So the image came over, but one thing is it's several layers and it's not grouped together. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this and group it so that nothing moves around. Now that I have it grouped, I need to resize it to fit my three inch round acrylic blank. I'm going to make myself a little template over here by selecting the drawing tool and the circle. I'm going to draw a three inch round circle. That's about three inches. And then I'm going to turn off the drawing tool and select my image and take it over there and resize it and make sure that it fits my template. Let's drag it over there to the template. And it fits, eh, it's a little big, so I'm going to resize it just a little bit more. Give it a little room because we're going to do an offset, so we want to give it a little bit of room. There we go. Okay, so here's our image. And now I want to set our registration marks. So the way we do that is we go over to the design area setup and you see this little icon right here? We're going to click on that. Now you can see it opened up the registration area and we're going to click on. And as you can see my image is right on the uh, registration mark so we're going to pull that over. Now these registration marks, um, if you're new to printing and cutting, these tell the cutter where your image is on the item that you printed out on your printer. So we're going to print this on a regular printer and then we're going to bring it back to our cutter and these will help it know exactly where the image is on your paper. So we've set our registration marks and I feel like this needs to be up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and go to advanced options and on that bottom inset, I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. All right. So now that we have our registration marks set up, let's go ahead and select this image. And what I'm going to do now is called an offset. So we need the cutter, when it cuts this image, we need it to cut all the way around the image and not inside of the image. So it's kind of like what you would do if you were creating stickers. So I'm selecting the item and then I'm going to go up to this star that is the offset um, item. So when I click on that, it automatically did an offset around my image. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and pull the image out of that offset. And this is just a me thing. I'm going to change the color of this offset the lines around it to kind of a lighter gray. So I'm going to go over here to the line style panel and click on that and choose colors and then change that to a light gray. Now I can pull my mom image right back into that make sure it fits good. So now we have our image ready and I want to go ahead and add some more to this page so that I don't waste my paper. I'm going to go ahead and click to print, but first we want to make sure we have our water slide paper inside our printer that we're using and make sure that the paper is in so that it prints out on the right side. Let's go ahead and click to print. So we go up to file and choose print. So now we can see um, this image and we're going to go ahead and select to print. And we want to make sure that the paper that we print on is the photo and glossy. So first we want to make sure it's in color and then media and quality and select paper type. So photo glossy paper, and then click print.
Okay, so now I've brought my image outside so that I can spray it with this Krylon Crystal Clear. It's an acrylic coating. And we're going to do that about three times, allowing it to dry for about five minutes in between each spray. All right, I've finished with the images and spraying it with the acrylic spray three times, letting it dry five minutes in between. But one thing I wanted to tell you that's different from the last time I did this uh, water slide project is that I've learned that if you spray the entire sheet, as opposed to just spraying the images after you've cut them out, that the water slide comes off a lot easier. So that's something new for me and it's working out a lot better that way. So anyway, we learn by experience, right? So now I'm gonna put this over in the cutter, in the vinyl cutter, and um, get started cutting out the images. Okay. So whenever you place it on here, you wanna make sure that it's slightly over the lines, and then make sure that it adheres pretty good because it's gonna be doing some serious cutting and then go ahead and load it into the machine. Okay, so now we're going to send this to the vinyl cutter. So we're gonna start off by hitting send. And then we're gonna make sure that we're only choosing the um, cardstock. And the reason I do cardstock on this is because after you spray it three times with that Krylon spray, um, it makes it a lot thicker and so I feel like that just works out better. Now we only want to cut around the edge so we're going to choose auto blade because that's the one I have in there and then to cut around the edge. Let me make sure I have it all selected. Okay so it should just cut around the edge but we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the layers. So let's look at line and you see how it says um, this gray area that's the line around the sticker. We want to make sure that's checked but we don't need um, anything else checked here. So we're going to uncheck that. I don't know why I checked that. Okay on the fill we want to make sure that none of these colors that are in the photo or the image are checked because if they are, then they're gonna cut out as well. All right, so it looks like we're ready to send it to the cutter. And then all you do is press send. It's reading the registration mark. These are the items that I use. I use the UV hard resin, and this is the kind I'm getting right now. I get it on Amazon. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And then a tiny, tiny bit of white glitter. And I also add a couple of drops of this pinata alcohol ink, and it's called Blanco. So just use a couple of drops of that, and you'll get this really nice white background for your uh, your water slide. So there's that. So now that we have our acrylic blank ready to go, let me get this out of the way. Oh, I also used uh, this magenta. I also used this magenta color uh, with a little bit of white alcohol ink to create this really pretty pink. On, on that blank. All right, so let's start with this white acrylic blank. I'm gonna do, I have several of the different water slides that I've printed it out. Aren't these cute? These are also from designbundles.net. Um, I got the mama bundle or some kind of bundle that was all about mom stuff. And then I also bought this little truck with the sunflowers in it. And then of course the mom one that we've been working on. So I think for this one, I already did one of these. I did that yesterday. So I think for today, hmm, I think I'll do maybe the mom one. Let's see, but that's so big. 
I'm not sure if I, if I want to do this one or the truck. I think, oh, and also I was thinking yesterday that this mom one would look really cute on this pink, this pink acrylic blank. Let's see. I think that would be cute. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna need hot water. In the last video I did about this, I think I said that it didn't matter if it was hot or cold, but I have learned that the hot water seems to work best. So I have a bowl here with hot water. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my decal. Let's do the pink one first, the pink uh, acrylic blank. So I'm dropping that in there, and it usually has to stay for about a minute or so. It just kind of varies. You can kind of tell when you're looking at it if the decal is starting to slide off. Now, while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my uh, acrylic blank. You want to start out with the wet surface, just using this little thin paintbrush. So you wanna have that paper towel so that you can gently blot off some of that water. So I'm just gonna kinda check and see how it's doing. It's, oh, it's coming off. Okay, I think it's, I think it's about ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of here to get out of the water. And then see how it's kinda coming off the edges? I don't know if you can see that. So we're gonna just slide it on to this um, acrylic blank. So I'm just gently getting that water off of there and out from underneath. We don't want any bubbles underneath that. And just go all the way around gently. And then also lightly dab it with a paper towel. Oh, I really love this pink, I'm excited. Then I dry my paintbrush too, because I don't want to keep putting more water on there. And once you get it all smoothed out, you can kind of hold it up in the light to make sure that you've gotten all the bubbles out, and then just continue patting it dry. Isn't that so cute? Okay, so once you get it done like that, once you get it on there, you're gonna to wanna to let it dry for an hour or so before you put another added layer of the UV resin on top that will make it shine so pretty. This one's already, yeah, I already put the top layer of UV resin over that to protect it. This is the one that I did yesterday. So let's do one more since my water's still warm. Um, I'll put one on this white. And I think, let's see, yesterday I did best mom ever. I love this truck. I'm gonna have to use this. So we'll put that one in the water right now. I hope it comes out cute. Again, all these designs were uh, purchased on designbundles.net. They have all kinds of stuff that you can use for this and sublimation and cutting, all the different stuff. They've got everything. So again, I'm just waiting for this to get ready to start sliding off of the decal paper. My water is still nice and warm. Oh, I saw some videos yesterday about um, uh, the gel pens that everybody's doing. I have to try that. Those are so cool. Oh my gosh, um, I think I saw that somebody bought their actual water slides. They're, they're just the right size that you need to create the pins. So I would do that. Okay, this one's ready to go. I'm gonna wet my acrylic blank here. All right, so this is ready to go. Let's see what we got. Now, once you get it on there, you can still move it around if you're just kind of gentle. You don't wanna tear the, uh, the water slide. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and start patting it dry and using my paintbrush to kind of work out any kind of little, this one has a little flip up right here. There we go, fine. 
Again, we're gonna pat it dry very gently. It's got some little butterflies on it too. Isn't that so cute? Okay, that's all there is to making the water slide decal keychains. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications for anything else that I have coming up. Keep on crafting. Have a great day.